Hi everyone, it's Susan for SusanWinter.net. Thanks for coming to my channel. I love the commentary that I'm reading. I love the fact that you're sending the video requests and your fantastic participation and support on this page. And those of you who have subscribed, kisses. Thank you so much. So I want to talk about something that's ongoing, and I'm sure you've been there. When you're rightfully confused by your partner's behavior because their behavior is inconsistent and confusing. So people call me all the time or in a session, you know, and they're trying to figure out what, what do, why are they doing this? Why would he or she do this? And I'm listening to the entire story and there are multiples of answers. Now, the reason that this is so dismantling for so many of us is that we live under the false belief that there is an answer, one, that is black and white, and that that's our answer. And as with most human behavior, it's conflictual. There are multiples of sides. There is not a black and white answer. It's a lot of gray, and it could be a lot of layers of things at the same time. So when you run this situation by to your friend or to family members or whatever, they'll probably take the negative and say, oh, well, they're playing you. Or, oh, dude, she's like using you. They are going to the single most dominant answer that is probably the most extreme that is going to hopefully protect you from yourself and that you won't be fooled by this person, therefore get hurt. But I can't always qualify that that is the correct analysis. Because as I listen to my clients, I hear their confusion because their partner is confused. And here's what I want you to realize. It's not always conscious. You see, we are so accustomed to saying that somebody is a narcissist or a sociopath or that they're a game player and they know what they're doing. In truth, that's a very small segment of the population. Most people in romantic exchanges have heightened ego reactivity, and they get freaked out by stuff in their head that you probably don't even know about. And oftentimes that will manifest as looking as though they are backpedaling from you or disinterested. For example, when people get scared and start self-editing, as we oftentimes do in a new relationship, we will make sure to do the opposite of what we really want. Like, I really want to call her. I can't call her because I can't look needy. So I'll wait four days, right? On the other hand, the lady's waiting for the phone call. It's like, okay, I slept with this guy. It's been four days. He hasn't even bothered to call me. Now that anger is rising. When he finally does call, she's angry and dismissive. So he figures, oh, my friends were right. Of course, you're nice to a gal. You treat her well. And then they get rid of you. So you see the misunderstanding because everybody is going off a of black and white premises. So let's open this up to the gray. Let's consider that if you are trying to make sense of somebody's confused behavior, one, it could be that they don't know where they stand, meaning they have an internal war going on. There are many layers to our thought process and our emotional history. Maybe a person wants you, but they also fear they'll disappoint you. Maybe a person is trying to hold back from showing you that they're interested, so they're doing just the opposite, which then, of course, you have the reaction to their reaction, and that starts a whole series of events. So how can you ever know what your, what your partner is feeling or thinking if they are acting so confused? Well, first of all, start to think of it in normal terms. If somebody's not responding to you, and nothing's happened in the relationship, that's not normal. Something's not right. Something's not right with them. You have every, every reason in the world to say, hey, haven't heard from you, what's going on? That's a normal response. So don't worry about the fact that, oh, I don't want to look weak or needy by asking them. You know, silence is an answer in and of itself. But I do think that many of you get tripped up with putting salt in the wound of bizarre behavior by trying to convince yourself that this person is doing it on purpose and that they are somehow playing you or using you. And there are some of those people out there, I'm not lying to you, but most people screw up because 
they have internal conflict. Part of them wants to move forward. The other part fears it. So just like you, they're having their own issues, but they are not communicating. They may not be able to identify what they're feeling, so they couldn't communicate this to you if they wanted to. That's another thing. Everybody thinks, oh, they know what they're thinking. They're doing it on purpose. They might not. People have a hard time you know, in the process of self-actualization. Not everybody can open themselves up, look at their control panel, go, oh, now I know exactly why I do what I do. Oh, here I was doing this. I better tell them. So if you're confused, don't go on a fool's errand and try to make sense out of the illogical. What they're doing is illogical. The reason? There is confusion. They are confused. There is an internal war that's going on. On a slight case, you may be played. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But that's probably slight. So understand that there's a lot going on inside your partner and try not to do the typical reaction to their reactivity. That's going to spin you off into a stalemate where you don't talk to them because it's odd and then you let it go. So you have assumptions and they have assumptions. Ask them honestly what's going on. Don't attack them. They're in a precarious position within themselves. Identify what you would like to see instead and just try to move forward into a normal and natural conversation. And if all else fails and you've got no idea what to do, erase romance. Think of them as a friend. What would you do if a friend didn't call you back? What would you do if a friend was going hot and cold? You'd say, hey, what's going on? And you'd get an answer from them. So please don't be confused by their confusion. It's their stuff, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a big deal about you, okay? I hope that helps you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Thank you for your video requests. They're awesome. Oh, please do not write my media department. If you write them with a story or something, we're going to chuck it because that's only for producers and journalists and stuff like that. If you want a video made, just keep writing to the video requests. And those of you that are working with me on Magnify, all the new clients that I get, you know how I love this app. It's amazing. And if you want to book a session on my site, just go and look at the different packages that I offer. Okay? Look forward to speaking to you next time. And take care. My very best to all of you. Bye-bye now.